Today, we will be looking at the chemistry of effervescent tablets in water. What do you think will happen when we drop this tablet into water? What do you observe? Two of the changes we can see are that the colour of the solution has changed from colourless to orange and that there are bubbles or effervescence formed. The effervescence shows us that a gas was produced, which means that a chemical reaction has taken place. We can't see individual atoms, but we can infer how they are interacting and rearranging to form new substances based on things that we can see, like the effervescence that was produced. The reaction that produced effervescence involved an acid. Based on what you know of the characteristic reactions of acids, what do you think this reaction might be? There are three characteristic reactions of acids. The first is the reaction of an acid with metal to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. The second is the reaction of an acid with a carbonate to produce a salt, water and carbon dioxide gas. The third is the reaction of acids with bases to produce a salt and water. The third reaction doesn't produce a gas, so we can eliminate it as a possible explanation. Let's look at the ingredients of the tablet to help us find additional information to deduce the type of reaction that happened. Each tablet contains citric acid, sodium hydrogen carbonate, vitamin C, zinc citrate, flavouring, colouring and stabilisers. In the ingredients, we have citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is clearly not a metal. So going back to our characteristic reactions of acids, we can eliminate the first reaction. This leaves us with the reaction of acids with carbonates to produce a salt, water and carbon dioxide gas. Using the reaction of acids with carbonates as an example, what do you think is the word equation for the reaction between citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate? Citric acid reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate to produce sodium citrate, which is a salt, water and carbon dioxide gas. Here's the balanced chemical equation with state symbols. Recall that the reaction and the effervescence only occurred in the presence of water. Why is water needed? We have learned that acids dissociate in water to produce hydrogen ions, and the characteristic reactions of acids are due to the hydrogen ions. In the solid state, citric acid does not have hydrogen ions. Hence, we need to add the citric acid to water so that it dissociates to produce hydrogen ions and a reaction occurs. So let's put this all together. When we add the tablet to water, the ingredients dissolve. For example, solid citric acid dissolves to form aqueous citric acid and solid sodium hydrogen carbonate dissolves to form aqueous sodium hydrogen carbonate. Next, the ingredients in the tablet react with each other. The key reaction is between aqueous citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate to produce sodium citrate, water and carbon dioxide gas. And the formation of carbon dioxide gas produces bubbles or the effervescence that we can see. 